So, Wishy Washy is a very, very interesting Pokemon. I've gotten a few requests for him, and it's taken me a long time to make this video because it's hard to get the idea of how to use him. So, he is a pure water type, which means he only has two weaknesses in electric and grass, and he has four useful resistances in fire, water, ice, and steel. Steel being run a lot more now that fairies are in the meta. And if you look at the graph, the differences in the thick colored lines and the thin black lines are that the thin ones are obviously the schooling form of wishy-washy and the tiny ones are the solo form. So as you can tell, normal wishy-washy without being in its school form is absolutely terrible. It only has base 20 attack and defense, 25 special attack and special defense, and 40 speed, which is just abysmal there's no reason to ever run that anywhere it's terrible but the schooling form is very very powerful even though it only has 45 base HP it has 140 base of both attack and special attack which means it's very very strong 130 base defense and 135 base special defense which means it can also take a hit very effectively it actually loses some speed when it transforms but Honestly, it really doesn't need it. It would need a huge boost to really be useful. The difference in 40 and 30 base speed is negligible. And it actually helps if you decide to run a trick room with this Pokemon. And the way schooling works is as long as he is above level 20, which every competitive battle will be at either level 50 or 100, he will transform into schooling form upon entry of battle. And he only goes back to his solo form if he's below a fourth of his health. So it's very important that you keep his health high or you'll have a very, very weak Pokemon on your team. Probably just Death Fodder if you can't possibly get its health back up. So the first set I have for Wishy Washy is a Choice Bandit or Citrus Berry set. And I know those are two very different items. But really it depends on if you need more damage or if you want to be safe from turning back into your solo form a little longer. An adamant or quiet nature is best for this. Quiet is best if you're running a trick room team or if you're going to be running a more mixed attacker. If you're only going to be running physical attacks then adamant is obviously the, your better bet. So max out his HP and his attack but leave a little off HP just so you can switch in one extra time on stealth rocks because with wishy washy it's very important that you stay above that 25% mark. Also, I just threw 8 in special defense. It really doesn't matter either way, but you need as much bulk as possible when you aren't adding to your offense. So, Aquatail or Waterfall is your best stab move as far as physical moves go. Aquatail is a bit more powerful, but Waterfall can flinch and it can't miss. Now, the flinching is probably not important unless you're on a Trick Room team, but not missing can be pretty handy. Um, Earthquake is also a good move to run on him. 100 base power ground type move is never a bad thing to have and it can help a lot with electric types that would normally switch in on him and one shot him or at least knock him down to the solo form. U-turn is another great move to run on him because it could help you with momentum. Your opponent thinks that there's no way they can do damage to you with whatever Pokemon they have in. They decide to switch out and you go for a U-turn and even though it's not stab base 140 attack is still very very strong and can still do quite a bit of damage to your opponent depending on the, what they switch in on you. For his last move, really the only other moves he gets in the physical category are faint attack, beat up, and moves that most Pokemon get like facade or return. Really none of these are that useful so I would think running Ice Beam and keeping the quiet nature would be good, especially if you ran the Citrus Berry set. Running Ice Beam on a Choice Banded set seems kind of backwards, so perhaps Facade would be better for that in case you were to get burned. And some other moves of interest, he can set up two different types of weather with Hail and Rain Dance, although really I don't see this Pokemon being used to set up weather ever. He gets Hydro Pump and Scald for his special water type moves, and really that's 
almost the extent of his special move pool is those two and Ice Beam. His special move pool is absolutely abysmal. He does get rest and sleep talk, which you can use to your advantage to help keep your health high. And even if you get knocked down to your uh, solo form, you can rest and that will actually turn you back into your schooling form, I believe, at the end of the turn. Toxic Protect is another viable strategy and it actually kind of revolves around my fat fish set for this Pokemon. And basically the idea behind this is to be as bulky as possible. So you'll run around max HP, max special defense, a little bit in your defense. You could also run it in an offense if you really chose to. Uh, for an attacking move, Scald or Hydro Pump is probably your best bet. I would say Scald would be slightly better just so you can snag burns on Pokemon that you couldn't Toxic. From there, Toxic is nice to wear down your opponents even though you have high offenses. Your move pool just isn't very good and a lot of Pokemon could switch in and wall you. Protect, you could run with the Toxic or you could run a Rest Sleep Talk combo as I mentioned earlier. And that way that you could keep this Pokemon alive as long as possible and especially if your opponent doesn't have Electric or Grass Tops, they could have a very hard time killing this Pokemon. So really, Looking at him at first, I thought he would be similar to Wailord in that his stats were just not good enough to get by. But really, he's very, very potent. He just has to stay healthy. And that's the name of the game. And so far, I haven't heard very much from him in the meta. He has trouble because of his shallow move pool. And he can't really find a place to belong because most Pokemon... No, or no, most people know what he's going to run and are able to answer him properly. So, really, I don't think he'll be the highest tier in the world, but at the same time, he's not the worst. I mean, just look at those stats, and I really hope he doesn't end up being just another Regigigas.